after being sidelined with an injury for the last five championship tour stops, remarkably, John John Florence is sitting number eight on the Jeep leaderboard. John seems fired up as he wrote on Instagram yesterday, the knee is feeling great. I'm excited for the opportunities ahead, Pipe Masters and the Olympics right around the corner. He told ESPN's Alyssa Rone earlier this season that if he was still in the position to qualify for the US Olympic team by the time the Pipe Masters rolled around, he'd give it his all. Now it appears that that's exactly what may happen. 3,000 points ahead of Kelly Slater on the Jeep leaderboard, we are going to see these two legends battling it out at Pipe for a shot at Olympic glory. Can you imagine? It's going to be so exciting at Pipeline. Meanwhile, the Vans Pro presented by HIC at Sunset Beach kicks off tomorrow. The official opening of the North Shore season in Hawaii looks like it's going to get pumping straight out of the gates. The surfline forecast for sunset has gone gold and is calling for 15 to 20 foot surf for the first two days of the waiting period. The Vans Pro will determine all the local qualifiers for the Vans Triple Crown and will also award the Hawaiian Regional title. We'll be bringing you all the updates, so keep it locked right here. This weekend, Vans and the Godowskis brothers hosted a special Stokorama for the Keiki of Makaha. But more than just a free surf contest, the crew delivered over 500 backpacks and school supplies to every student at Makaha Elementary. Mahalo for everyone who helped uplift the community the past couple days. Malamapono. We're going to choose any single school on the west side from Malakuli to right here in Macaw. But we chose Macaw Elementary because this is the farthest school, the last place on the road. Thanks to early season swell, Pipeline saw some action this week. Can't wait to see what happens next. Up another one here, looking at back door. This is a big wave. He's locked in. He should come through this one. Come Here on. he comes. Oh my Medina, God. the hands go up. This December, the Billabong Pipe Masters will decide the 2019 World Champion. After 10 events over the last seven months, five surfers are separated by a mere 6,000 points atop the men's Jeep leaderboard. Italo's in yellow, Gabriel's hot on his heels, and Jordi, Felipe, and Kolohe aren't far behind. This is as tight as any world title race we've ever seen, and there's no shortage of scenarios in play. Italo's in control of his own destiny. If he wins pipe, he wins the world title. But Gabe is a competitive phenom, and he's the only pipe master in the field. This is really, really big, and I am fired up about it. Who do you think's going to win? Please tell us in the comments below. Oh my but Dana, God. the hands go up. The first episode of Transformed Season 2, Salbona, debuted today, telling the story of Giovanni Dorso, who grew up in the heart of South Central LA's ganglands. It is a testament to the power of surfing and the change it can inspire. Hosted by the 1977 world champ, Sean Thompson, you can stream it now on worldsurfleaf.com. People like me don't go surfing. We don't really see black people in the water. My name is Giovanni Dorso and I'm a surfer from South Central. And because the fight to save the planet never stops, Australians Dan Ross and Dave Rostovich are battling a proposed copper mine on the New South Wales North Coast. The mine could severely damage the health of the Clarence River, which is central to the fishing and surfing town of Yamba. If you've ever surfed around Angore or Spookies or want to be in the future, this one's going to take a team effort. Copper mines are toxic and they do not belong near rivers and precious water sources. Ultimately, this is about protecting what we love about the Clarence and this whole Northern Rivers region. To find out more, please search Caring for Clarence. Day one of the Vans Pro presented by HIC kicked off yesterday at Sunset Beach with the Pacific Ocean flexing its muscles 
providing 10 to 15 foot surf. Known as the most important event of the year for Hawaii surfers, this QS 3000 will determine nine of the regional qualifiers for the Vance Triple Crown of Surfing. Benji Brand had the heat of the day, earning himself the North Shore's first 10 point ride of the season, with other standouts including Billy Kemper, Pakadowskis, and Makua Rothman. The swell peaks today, so for all the action, go to worldsurfleague.com. Sunset wasn't the only spot on the seven mile miracle pumping yesterday. The Bonsai Pipeline turned on. And reminiscent of the bomb he snagged last season, Cam Richards was one of the standouts bagging an early wave of the winter contender. And proving yet again that the best surfers in the water are the ones having the most fun, Nathan Florence and Cole Rothman proving that you can have a good time even when the waves are dangerous, like this day of Pipeline. And now we go to our incredible resident marine biologist, Dr. Ayana Elizabeth Johnson. Turns out, wetsuit neoprene is not the only rubber floating in San Francisco Bay. WSL Pure partner Five Dyers Institute teamed up with San Francisco Estuary Institute to examine how microplastics are getting into our waterways. Many were surprised that car tire particles were found to be the largest source of microplastic pollution. This research provides better data, which could lead to better policies for our coastal communities. Check it all out at fivegyres.org. The fact that microplastics are sponges for all these hydrophobic pollutants, that is the harm, the potential for harm out there. And if we can get a handle on it here, we can ensure that San Francisco and this entire bay isn't a major contributor in the future. Recent Red Bull Airborne winner and star of 21 Hours, me, Ian Crane has just dropped a new film project. Featuring a year's worth of Crano clips, Beachhead the movie also comes with cameos by Ripping Pals, Kolohe and Dino, Griffin and Crosby Colapinto, as well as Luke Davis. For more, cruise on over to beachhead.fun. That's right, beachhead.fun. It's a website. Coming wow. over, look at that in red, just cruising oh. through that barrel. There we go. Sea bass. bass. What a wave. Oh, oh. Yeah. Talk about setting the needle there. It was another searing day of action at the Vans Pro presented by HIC with Sunset Beach providing 10 to 15 foot surf all day long. Benji Brand's hot streak continued as once again, he logged the highest heat total of the day with a 16.37 score line. 2012 Vans Triple Crown champ and CT surfer Sebastian Zietz came out swinging with an incredible nine point barrel ride. And for a little bit of intrigue for the first time in a WSL event, Griffin Colapinto and younger brother Crosby surfed against each other, and it was the little brother getting the win. You know big brother Griffin is now gonna be out for some revenge. For all the action from this incredible event, go to worldsurfleague.com. Your whole family's watching back home. You wanna say hi to everybody? Uh, what's up, mom, dad? Griffin had a shocker. <laughs> The first episode from Transformed Season 2, Salbona, is out now. This episode features South Central Los Angeles surfer Giovanni Dorasso as he showcases his journey from troubled neighborhood to the beach. Transformed Season 2 can be viewed right now on WorldSurfLeague.com. My first day going surfing could have been my first day in jail. Current world number two and title contender, Lakey Peterson, just dropped a brand new vlog on her YouTube page. This time, Lakey takes us behind the scenes on her run through Portugal, from free surf sessions to nights on the town. Lakey is not all business. She packs a lot of fun into her life as well. Check out her vlog on her YouTube page. What are we wearing? What do you mean? <laughs> you know I could just run away with it and just you just have to wear my jersey. Then some major industry news announced last night. Nike has sold their brand Hurley to Blue Star Alliance, which is a management company. No sale price has been announced just yet, and we'll keep you updated on John John Florence, Colohan Dino, Carissa Moore, and the rest of the Hurley team as we have more information. <laughs> Captain Cote here for WSL Surf Breaks. In solid six to 10 foot Sunset Beach, David Van Seal has won the Vans Pro presented by HIC. Upsetting a stacked field at Sunset Beach, the South African outlasted Zeke Lau 
who finished runner-up, Jack Robinson and Bear Mamiya, who finished third and fourth respectively. Got to make it to the final and surf against these guys. They're all sunset masters. So to surf against them and come out on top was yeah, incredible, super stoked. The Vans Pro also crowned the WSL Hawaii Tahiti Nui Regional winner, which went to Kauai's Gavin Gillette. He won a $5,000 travel award for the effort, which is given out in the name of Sonny Garcia, the most successful Vans Triple Crown of Surfing champion in history. Coming into the event, I, I you know, the guys like Baron and Billy, they didn't do all the events that I did, so I kind of had like the advantage. But um, I really just wanted to do well in the event, well enough to where I could just solidify and not have to like wait for everyone else to do good. But that didn't happen. I, I lost pretty early. Um, so I had to sit back and watch everything and, and I was just listening to scores and I was like hearing everything happen and then the countdown I was like, oh, I guess it happened, you know, and then I don't know, here we are taking out the Hawaii Regional ratings. I'm stoked. With big wave season officially here, yesterday saw two prestigious opening ceremonies, one at Nazare and one at Jaws. The waiting period is officially on for the Jaws Challenge Pe'ahi and the Nazare Toe Challenge. Looking for giant swells in the Atlantic and the Pacific, the waiting period will run through the end of March. And our fingers are crossed that we get to see two of the most iconic big wave spots in the world firing on all cylinders. The best moment I've ever had at Jaws was maybe last year in the contest and I got a barrel in the final. So I came out of that, you know, like everybody watching and thinking that I could maybe win with that wave, you know. The second episode of Transformed Season 2, Sentinel Ocean Alliance, is live now. It follows the story of big wave surfer Frank Solomon and his program that keeps South African kids in the water and off the streets. Hosted by 1977 world champ Sean Thompson, Transformed Season 2 is viewable right now on WorldSurfLeague.com. Seeing that kid getting shot at the same beach where I learned to surf, I think it really shifted the perspective of what I thought was important. And on behalf of our whole crew here at Surf Breaks Airlines, we want to wish you a happy Halloween. Today is November 1st, and that marks the official start to big wave season. And what better way to usher it in than to watch the brand new edit by Russell Bierke called Flow State. The 22-year-old Australian who will be competing at the Pe'ahi Challenge this winter has been labeled by surf media as one of the best slab riders on the planet right now. The clip is bookended by two of the heaviest paddle waves ever seen at Shipstern's Bluff in Tasmania. Filmed by Andrew Kaneter and released yesterday, this movie is one part horror show and one part glimpse into the future of big wave surfing. These waves are absolutely psychotic. And in my opinion, Russell Bierke is the guy that will change things in big wave surfing this year. Watch the new edit right now on O'Neill Australia's Vimeo page. West Oz wonder kid Jack Robinson started his 2019 QS campaign with a statement win at the Vulcan Pipe Pro. He's in Hawaii now and already made the final of the Vans Pro presented by HIC at Perfect Sunset Beach. I've been training hard all year and trying to keep a consistent run, so come in, get into the final against tough field. It's just starting off warm up for me. Staying the whole time, my mindset's calm and cold and ready to go. Now for Jack Robinson, a big result in the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing could propel him to where he needs to be to potentially qualify for the 2020 Championship Tour. From men's QS to women's QS action, we've got a vital QS 6000 coming up called the Port Stevens Toyota Pro presented by Sister Revolution. Nikki Van Dyke will be looking to defend her win from last year at the QS 6000, and this will decide the remaining three spots on the 2020 Championship Tour. The contest kicks off November 15th, and you can check out all the details on worldsurfleague.com. Well, we started surf breaks today with a bang, and let's finish with a hammer. I'm talking about Russell Bierke. 
get to know a little bit more about this Australian 22-year-old Hellman. Like, I chased it in from the start, and it still just, like, kind of kept holding me up. And even though I was, like, real far in compared to the pack, if I was another couple metres in, I reckon it would have helped a lot. So you backed yourself, or you could make it? Yeah, I tried to stick the airdrop, and it's like, as I was falling, it's like the bottom just kept dropping out and getting further away. <laughs> <laughs>